as you can see it's gotten hot and this moss and algae is starting to grow in the pond and what I'm going to do I've been doing this for the last few years it really seems to help I get this at Real King I'm glad Real King finally came to Kentucky but I got copper sulfate I got some Kutrin plus you know this is about almost $150 for us and I'm gonna throw it in this pond and it really in a couple weeks it, re it will really help clear it up so let me find something to dump it into so I can start throwing it now this is what the Kutrin looks like it's granular and what I you've been using is a solo cup where'd it go let me move this Echo Chainsaw. It's one of my favorites. That's a CS352. That's a real good saw if anybody's looking for one. I've always had Echo saws and never had any trouble with them. So what I'm going to do is get my little... Oh, there's a nail in there. <laughs> we don't want that in there. Alright. What we want to do is get this scoop on it. And we walk over here, and it's real hard. It and throw it in the water, and that's what I've been doing the last few years. And believe it or not, it will really clear it up in about a month. You'll never even see any of this moss. Now I don't pretend to be an expert on pond maintenance, but. Um, I do know that this stuff here is copper sulfate, which is also granular. And the label says, do not get it on your eyes. Do not get it on your skin. Do not swallow it. So I'm guessing it's some potent stuff. But I'll broadcast this the exact same way. I'll use my cup here. Now walk around this small area here and I'm away from the spillway and the spillway is running real slow so I won't be losing much of this but the way I see it if I start at this end and the water moves that way then I'll get the most use out of this product so let me uh, spread some of this around Well, it doesn't take long to throw money in the pond. You're probably thinking, well, that's not enough to treat all that, that algae, moss, and all kinds of, all kinds of weeds in here. But uh, believe it or not, it does just this little bit. I do it every year. I usually do it a month ago, but it's been on a non-stop raining climate here in Kentucky so I'm a little late uh, getting this out but I'm supposed to put it down when the water's warm anyway and it's uh, about 90 here today so the water's not but the air temperature is so I've got a little more spread here and uh, see how it goes now I'm not sure what this stuff is it just appeared this year I've got a patch here and a little bit more down there but I'm gonna see if this stuff will cut this stuff back a little bit now you're probably thinking well if you had a boat you could uh, really get out there and spread that around well I've got a boat it's over in the shop being remodeled and I'll have it on a future show and it'll be fun for the grandkids to ride around out here All right, I got all that in there. A lot of trucks been going up and down the street today. I don't know what they're doing. A whole bunch of dump trucks. But this is my little piece of paradise here.
Thanks for watching. If you would like to, you could subscribe.